When did you start making art? When I was a little tiny girl. Oh. Yeah. And what, <laughs> what is your medium? Well, right now it's watercolor. Watercolor painting. Love doing it. I like the freshness and the exciting challenge. You never quite know what's going to happen with watercolors, and so that's fun. Sweet are your lips to me. Soft as the moon and sand. What is your muse or your um, inspiration? Mm. The Outer Banks, but that's why I live here. <laughs> how did you get to the Outer Banks? I mean, how did you end up living down here? Well, I'm from Iowa, Alaska, and Virginia. And I taught in the state of Virginia, high school art. And uh, we built a cottage on here, and we kept coming down to visit, and I spent more and more time here. And we said, hey, after we retire, let's just move down there. <laughs> And I love the lifestyle. So the I lifestyle started painting before I retired, of course. Right. And what is your motivation for painting? Like anyone who writes, yeah. it's, it's a passion. Yeah. It really is. It's something that you have to do. I don't feel right if I'm not creating art. If, if I'm Something that does have to inspire me these days. Um, I, I prefer painting something that I do have a passion for. There are times when I paint something that I'm like, yeah, well, I kind of like it. But then by the time I get into it and I get through with it, the process sort of moves me along. It's like a wave, you know, you're riding it. <laughs> and then when you get there and you go, wahoo, <laughs> it's finished. And yes, I like it. <laughs> Well, this is Wanchi's, and um, I've been over there a lot. A lot of my subject matter comes from Wanchi's. Uh, this is the old building, a, a food fish processing center here, next to Fisherman's Wharf in Wanchi's. Okay. And so I go out and and hunt down things to paint, I, you know, icons. And I love, I love this big shack here, which won't be there very long. No, so, you know, what I'm doing now decay. is I took a lot of shots and then I had to go through them, decide which ones I wanted, which ones had the most potential because I like good structure in my paintings. And um, this one seemed to work for me. I move things around, of course. It's not just because this uh, old building is here doesn't mean I can't move it over to here, make it larger, make it smaller. But right now I'm using my light box. And I am uh, have enlarged my photographs to the point where they're the portion to the size of the page that I want to use. And I'm using a two-thirds of an elephant page instead of a regular, uh, a smaller page of watercolor page repair, which is 22 by 30. So this is larger. And then I transfer it to my tracing paper here, as you can see. Then I transfer that to my watercolor paper. How do you transfer from the tracing paper to the watercolor paper? Same process. Oh. But I use a pencil. Okay. And if it's, uh, if I'm using a 300 pound weight, sometimes you can't see through it. Yeah. So I have a dining room large window <laughs> and the sun shines through it. So I want to use that, <laughs> you know, I, I'm anxious and excited yeah. to get to the painting process. You so want to get it laid out as quickly as possible. Right, absolutely. Thank you so much, Carol, for letting us inside your studio, letting us look around. Oh, I was happy to do it. <laughs> All right. And I'm um, looking forward to um, uh, the future Arts Council events, looking forward to the next, what is this, the, the tour? Yeah, the virtual studio tour. Ooh.